All right, everybody. All right, so now we're going to do a lemon. Seems easy enough, although I had to do some research. I pulled an image, and you can pull any image off just to um, go. So now we're going to paint a lemon. How to paint a lemon. So we're going to, I've got my Princeton number 12 brush, and this is just stained. It's not coming off. Um, and my Holbein paints, and my Etcher sketchbook. So I'm going to start with the lemon itself. And I'm just going to go in and get some of that, really get my paint going here. And I'm going to start with lemon yellow, my lightest color. And my lemon slice, I'm going to reserve the whites, which is the rind. And I did sketch this out. With a pencil. And I don't know if you can see it or not. Let's see if you can see it. I could go over it a little bit more. But I just sketched it out how I thought. Let me just go over my lines. And I'm going to try to paint in the form to show that it has some dimension and roundness and volume. Hope I'll be successful. This is my first time painting a lemon. It's my first time drawing a lemon. You can erase your lines if you want to. I had to sketch it out and erase quite a bit to get it to look the way I wanted it to look. And I put this line here as a tabletop. So so I am going to lighten my lines a little bit just so I probably need a needed eraser. That's this. It's a little gray eraser, and I haven't gotten it started yet. I have another one somewhere. I tend to not use this as much. I tend to use that white plastic eraser. But this does not leave crumbs, so you kind of got to work it a little bit, but you can kind of go around. If you draw light enough, you really don't have to erase. And then you can just, to clean it, you just knead it. Oh. 
Okay, so I'm going to set that right up there. So I'm going to start with a very light wash of lemon yellow, permanent le yellow lemon of my whole line. Now I don't know. Add some water to it. I'm just going to work on this big lemon right now. Okay, let's bring my picture back up so I can, I might have needed to reserve some white space, but I think I'm okay. Look at your picture. Okay, now while it's still wet, I'm going to get some yellow ochre. And just drop it in around the leaf. Let me make sure my brush has not got too much water in it. I'm going to drop it in around the leaf where there'd be shadow. And around the top. Just let that do its thing, especially at the bottom, around the, where there might be some natural shadow, and it's kind of giving it some texture. And I'm just going to leave an area here to where it looks like the light's hitting it. Okay, let's get something else in. Let's get a little bit of shadow color in behind this leaf. And let's see, what are we going to use? Um... It looks to be kind of a burnt sienna color. So I'm going to go into my burnt sienna. And drop some of that back here. And that's coming down all the way to the, okay, and then I'm just really looking at my picture, and I'm seeing some down here. Some over here under this leaf. And up around the top of this stem. Okay. Um, let's stop there let it dry and then come back and add in more colors let's see I'm afraid if I did any more that it would bleed into my lemon so let's stop there and we'll dry it and come back 
Okay, so I had been studying my picture, and you know, I just went on Google Images. I'm not going to use this painting and claim it as my own, but I am trying to, you know, get the textures and and what I think, you know, I really zoomed in on that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my number six brush and I'm using Princeton Snap round number six. All the brushes I'm using today are Princeton Snap. So I am going to take some of this the lemon yellow and I'm going to really dilute it because I'm going to really, really get a thin wash of it. Clean water. And I'm going to go in and I can always go back and use white gouache. And I'm going to reserve the whites. I'm going to reserve the Um, the Rhine. I'm going to have to stop painting here in a minute. Okay, and I'm not worried about getting it all covered because of that texture of the lemon. Okay, so now, oh shoot, I didn't get that edge in. Oh well. I didn't draw that right. So Alright. So Alright, so I am going to work on these leaves. So these leaves seem to be, I'm going to start with this permanent green dark. And I'm going to take a little bit of purple. And the reason I'm taking purple to dull this down is because Purple is the complement of yellow. And I think I almost see some purple. Maybe get some more from the green dark. Just dulling that down a little bit. And I'm just going to put a wash in here. Just paint it wet on dry. And you gotta do it fast so you don't have any lines because you don't want it to dry. And then I'm gonna paint the stem. I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow in that stem. back into this. If you just touch it, it'll bleed into that stem a little bit. Alright, so I'm gonna hold my paper 
Got to make sure that and just paint my leaf in. I'm not trying to be perfect, but I'm not trying to be too loose either. See, I don't think I went fast enough. That permanent yellow lemon is wanting to travel back into that leaf. Okay, and I'm going to mix up a little bit more of that permanent green dark and mineral violet. Too much. Too much. That just made a gray. Which that might be good for shadow color though. Let's see. Now, I think I put that in there too wet. And it's going to cause a bloom. I'm going to have to wait for it to dry and go back in there. Okay, so let's give that a zap with the heat tool. Okay, so let's go in and give that another layer. And we will fix that for sure. Just, I don't think that these Princeton snaps hold enough water for me to get the job done. All right, so let's go in and give this one another layer. I might give this lemon just another glaze.
Okay. Keep going back and looking at my screen. All right, maybe take a little bit of yellow ochre and go around and just drop that in a little bit and we can go back and add some highlights almost getting too dry okay let's take some around the edges here I want to get some shadow color in there. Let's, let's get it a little wet. Okay, it's dry, so I'm wetting the whole thing so I won't get any blooms. And I'm going to take some of this green purple darker mixture and drop it in. Oops, weather alert. Okay, so now I might even paint some shadow here. And then rinse my brush really fast and then spread it out. It's not fast enough. All kinds of weather weather warnings. All right. Now I'm going to, I think I'm going to give that rind just a little bit of color. I mean just a little bit. Because... I just don't think that it's totally white. So I just took some and and then I'm going to take some of that grayish color and put it as a shadow for this table. Drop some right there next to it. Goodness. And 
and just take it and drag it out until it's clear. And then maybe put a little bit over here to indicate that tabletop. some more right there. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Need to put a little bit more definition into the leaves. I could put some more texture into the lemon, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm gonna put some veining. Maybe drop a little bit of yellow into these leaves. Just to warm them up a little bit. Take some of this green, mix it with this yellow, make that stem. Keeping it loose, but not really loose. All right, so I'm going to take some of this burnt sienna and mix it with a little bit of this green purple mixture and give this some definition. Get that water off my brush, barrel, and I'm going to give this some definition here. Get my brush to a nice point. Just to tighten it up a little bit. Oh, there's a water drop. Huh. cover up. I think that will just tighten up that drawing a little bit. And maybe right here too on this lemon. Maybe I'll get a... Okay, so I need something for the veins. That is...
Okay. Let's go around these edges and tighten them up. First time painting a lemon. So try it out. My thing was the texture. You know, because lemons have that orange peel texture. And we could um, dull down this yellow ochre. Okay, so if we did that and did some stippling, we could And you could even get a sponge. You know, and I just, to dull down that yellow ochre, I just took the brush I was tracing with that, that grayish color. And just then mixed it into my yellow ochre. And this could cause some issues with your brush. So it might be better to use a sponge. I don't know if I like that as well. So, all right, let's take some jelly roll, white jelly roll, and let's make some highlights. Or you can use your white Signo or white watercolor. But white watercolor, I think I could have gone a little deeper with that yellow or that lemon. But I wanted it to be noticeably different than that. So, there you have it. Painting, how to paint a lemon. So, you can work on that, and, you know, don't feel like you have to do it my way. This is just um, how I did it. May do it different next time. So, hit that like button and subscribe button and notification bell to know when I put out a video. And talk to you later. Bye, guys.